Deftones, Nosebleed, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'll play all the different parts right at the beginning here. After that, I'll go back through, give the full explanation for it. Please hit the subscription button. It's the best way of letting me know you like this video and want to see more Deftone stuff. And now, let's get on into the lesson. <laughs> Adrenaline album, so we get to just hang out in standard tuning, EAD, GBE. And the very beginning here, we get this uh, kind of like pickup note into the main riff. Just kind of happens here at this at the very beginning. It's like a quick open strum of just say like the arbitrarily DGB strings, which is part of a G, and we basically just land on a G power chord here for a few strums. It's just a little pickup into the main riff uh, and once we get to the main riff we just start looping that and basically we're just hanging out in this 5-4 uh, kind of power chord area here start with the A power chord at the 5 E 7 on the A there drop it down to the 4 and 6 for the A flat okay come back to that A at the 5 and 7 drop down to the 4 and 6 on the A and D for that D flat Okay, we do the 5-4 A to A flat again. And then here, uh, we just kind of skip in that A that we would do, and we go down to the D flat, and we just hit it kind of individual notes where we do the 4 on the A, then the 6 on the D. And that 6 on the D, you can give it a little bit of like a pinch or, you know, attack it a little harder. All right, just to kind of make it pop a little more there. And then we hit that five on the E, drop down to second fret power chords, the G flat F sharp there with the two E four on the A and strum that about three times. So just try it slowly here. verse we just do these uh, staccato little stops with the G power chord uh, three of the E there five on the A and it's just a one two one two and uh, then we rest and we do that about four times okay and at the end of the fourth time we just start wailing on these harmonics here at the uh, D fourth there and then hammer that out about six seven times and then drop down hit the four on the G all right, and then we'll go back to our G power chords there. And at the end of each one now, we just do some like dead string kind of noisy strums here. All right. All right, stuff like that. And the very last one, you know, the fourth one that we do, at the end of that one, we come way up high, slide it up to 15 of the E, give it a bend. For the bridge, um, we segue into the bridge by doing some really uh, staccato, you know, stops on the G flat power chord, the second on the E there, 
All right, and then we just kind of hit some harmonics, maybe a little open strings there, no biggie, maybe like a fourth fret. Just kind of let it ring and feedback. Uh, bass does its thing for a little bit, and then we kind of subtly, quietly come in with the, this little bit, and it gradually loses the muting, gets louder. Uh, or we'll be at five of the G, and we just kind of hit that, then bounce between that and like six on the B a couple times. All right, and then we'll drop down and hit this B octaves. So just four on the G with the open B under it. All right, and we just crank that out. Then the bridge riff comes in, and we're just doing three power chords here, doing a C power chord at the three A, five D, just three strums there. Over to the F at the 1, E, 3 on the A, a few strums. Then we come over to the B at the 2, A, 4 on the D, and we just strum that out about eight times, finishing it out. 